Hi, my name is Tommy Martin, and this is my video testimonial for a broader view volunteer organization in Cusco, Peru. So the first thing I want to talk about is where I worked. I worked at an orphanage. It's a girl's orphanage for girls around the ages of 10 to 18. Um, I really liked working there. I thought it would be a little awkward and uncomfortable because I'm a guy and I'm at this girl's orphanage. I didn't really know that you know, when I signed up for the orphanage care but within a week it was really great um, and all the girls are super nice and uh, just I just really like hanging out with them and talking with them they had a lot of questions about living in the United States about what my life is like um, so I didn't really have to do a lot of you know asking real hard questions to them because they just they want to learn about me but I also got to know a lot about them um, it was really great uh, the staff there is awesome and we did a lot of painting ceramics, which um, I thought, you know, I wasn't really sure about because I didn't really feel like I was doing a lot of help, but it turned out that just my presence there and being like a companion for them was really like what they needed. So that was great. Um, I was there from 2.30 to 6 p.m. every day and the time flew. It was, it was a great time. Uh, so the place I lived at, it was right here um, <laughs> in Mariscal Gamara. It's this neighborhood in Cusco. It's right on uh, Avenida La Cultura, which is one of the main drags of the city. And it's, it's great. Um, the whole family is awesome. We live here with Maria Elena, um, and she lives here with her father. Um, it's really friendly and it's very comfortable. I have you know everything I could need here and anything else I could want. There's the grocery store right down the street. There's, ton of restaurants right down the street and the Plaza de Armas, the main square is like, it's like a 15 minute walk, like a five minute cab ride. So really great location, um, really great place to live. You know, I have a nice bed and we have really nice meals here every day. Um, Maria Elena is very, very friendly and very welcoming. Uh, I feel like I'm part of her family a little bit. And so living here is awesome. Um, living in the city as a whole in Cusco, it's, I just, it's like the craziest thing ever. It's just, it's so foreign from everything I've ever known. And I, I love it. I mean, it's kind of a lot when you first start, but once you get the hang of the city and you kind of get your way around more and more or less between here and the main plaza, because that's where most of the touristy kind of stuff is, most of the restaurants are. Um, it's great. It's, it's very friendly. The people are nice. It, it feels safe. Um, and I just really like living here. It's a good location because although it's not that close to Lima, the other main city in Peru, uh, it's about the closest main city you can be to Machu Picchu, which is the reason, well, part of the reason a lot of people choose to volunteer here in Peru. Um, and the reason a lot of people choose to come to Peru. So there's a lot of tourists. We're very close to Machu Picchu, very close to other tourist sites. Um, and if you want to go a little further to somewhere like Arequipa, there's ways to get there, it's a, it's a bus ride, but you can do a lot of different tourist things here in Cusco, along with it being a great city to live at. Um, so another thing about my stay here was the director, was, it's Maria Elena, um, the woman I live with as well. Uh, and she's just been very helpful in coordinating where I'm gonna stay at and giving me information about my volunteer site and just making this process really smooth. Um, we, I, I, was told there's gonna to be a lot of figuring it out by myself and it's kind of what I signed up for but she helped kind of eliminate some of the variables that I might not be able to figure out on my own so everything here was really taken care of by her in addition to her being an excellent host um, like the the administrative side of this whole volunteer trip was really well handled here in Cusco by Maria Elena um, back in the United States before I left uh, the whole team had a broader view Notably Sarah, um, they were really, really helpful in answering any of my questions and giving me all these resources, the big PDF packet that I got when I fully signed up for the trip, telling me everything, what I gotta bring, what I should expect, what Cusco's gonna be like, all this good stuff. Um, everything is just kind of taken care of by them before you leave. And also, something that I thought was really good is on their website, there's this live chat 
that you can always go to. I mean, I didn't go to it super, super late, but there was a time, I think it was at 10 p.m. or something, and I was just like talking with this person on this live chat, and I'm asking questions about the trip I'm thinking about taking. And I, I, it was just very like articulate and informative responses, and I really like that as well as you know Sarah and the rest of the people that work for a broader view and help line up these trips. Um, so with that all being said, in case you couldn't tell, I would definitely recommend this kind of trip to anyone who wants to do service, who wants to see a different country, live in a different country, um, because obviously we're here to help people and do service, but you can kind of also do what you want to do in the time where you're not at work, and especially on the weekends, you can go see cool stuff and take trips and feel like a traveler, and I really enjoyed that part of it as well as the service. Um, so I would definitely recommend this to anyone considering it. Um, yeah. So that's about all. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.